the way that AI is evolving, it's incredible. So today we're going to dive deep into a very powerful image generating AI tool that's called Leonardo AI to create a sports artwork. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are a lot to cover, so just grab your computer and let's get started. So last time we used Mid Journey to create a poster. So if you guys haven't checked that video yet, please check on the description list below. And that was fun. Actually, I get a lot of comments regarding that poster. But Mid Journey is a paid platform. But today, on the replacement, there is another great AI platform. It's called Leonardo AI. So that's what we're using today. And let's see what we can do. So let's go over here and create a new tab and then I'll just go type Leonardo AI and then I'll just click on that Leonardo AI app, click on login. So here we go, we're in Leonardo AI and look at this, these all cool looking images are generated using this AI platform. And then once you click over here, see you can copy the prompt uh, that are used to create this uh, image and yeah these are so cool yes let's see so yeah and then the good thing is you can add the negative prompts too and then yeah these are very cool looking images so let's click on that one yeah this is pretty nice wow i like this one too this is cool let's click on that one let's see wow i like i like this one too so yeah let's create our own version so you know what like i want to go kind of uh, kind of uh, a, a, a sci-fi or colorful i'll say <laughs> yeah i want to go for kind of this five so let's click on this one let's copy the prompt and then let's go on image generation and you know what let's remove those prompts and let's paste this so instead of cute animal i would like to add the eskdbl basketball the adium stadium From here you can test the dimension and then um, there you can change the aspect ratio from here too so i'll just go with six nine is to 16 and let's click on generate and then before that check over here so every time you click on generate you're gonna lose two tokens so i have 97 remaining so i have to be very careful so let's click on generate and let's give it some time and before that, let's see some of uh, this artwork that I created using some prompts. But let's see what it comes up with. Wow, this these are cool too. Actually, I like this one too. So anyway, you get the point. And then I'm going to use uh, this image for now to create an artwork. So, so this is my one of the favorites so far. And this is a very simple prompt that I used to generate this image. And I can upscale these, but it's gonna cost me five more tokens, which I don't want to lose it. 
So what I'll do is just click over here and let's click on download image. So this is what we got and then let's open it in Photoshop. So here we go and here we are in Photoshop and let's create an artboard and for that press control and N. And I'm going to use 4x5 resolution to 300, column mode to RGB, bitrate to 8. And let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. And then let's drag and drop this background image that we created. Let's drag right over here. Let's convert to smart object. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little bigger. And just like so. And let's drag and drop this uh, player image right over here. Press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a bigger too. Let's keep it right around here. Uh, let's do some color adjustment. So select this image, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And then let's uh, drop down the highlights, increase the shadows. Let's increase the exposure a little bit. And uh, let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture. And from detail tab, let's increase the noise reduction. Let's increase the sharpening, color noise reduction. And let's go back to basic tab and let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's click on OK. So this is what we got and let's create a new layer, right click, create clipping max. Now I want to add some edge glow, so let's go back to brush and I'm going to use a general soft brush. Uh, let's add some edge glow. Yeah right over here So this is before and this is after and let's go on bottom, create a new layer, go to brush and I'm going to add some atmosphere in the background. There we go and let's add some in the front too. Here we go. You know, like, let's make this background a little bigger. Control T. Let's move it somewhere. Right around here. And then let's add a text. And Control T. Let's make it bigger. Just like so. And then let's move this background a little in the center, maybe somewhere around here yep that looks pretty good to me object or let's convert this text as a shape and control t let's warp it yep let's keep it like that and then let's add another text Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Let's keep it right around here. Let's make it a little bigger, just like so. And now let's go on this image. You know what, let's make a copy, Control J, and let's click that image. Let's go to Stylize and let's add Oil Paint. And from here, let's drop down the sign to zero. Let's add some cleanness around two, I think. Yeah, I think 91.2 looks good to me. Let's keep it like that and let's click on OK. And let's create a layer max and this image go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush and let's erase that oil pen effect around eyes. 
So with the black color, let's remove that. Let's remove right over here too. Let's remove from that teeth. Let's remove some from here. Just like that. And let's add the same effect on the background too. So select this image, go to filter and let's apply the same oil paint. And let's click on OK. So this is what I got. And let's add a color that on very top. So go over here. Let's click on lookup. And from here, click on load. And I'm going to use my favorite Cinelot. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we got. And that's the final. And this is how we can use AI to create an awesome artwork. And hope you guys love this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, you guys take care. Be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.